Hey hello there everyone, my name is Anthony and welcome to my Cosmic Room Crafting Guide for Iron Man without the need of the Abyss. This may sound very specific and complicated to some of you and you may not yet see the point of this guide, but don't worry, I will explain everything you need to know. Before I start this video there's one quick note, if you already use the Abyss for room crafting then this guide may not be of use to you, it's mainly meant for people that cannot use this method yet. Alright, so to begin with, why this guide? Well, first of all, cosmic runes are very valuable runes to Iron Man. They're used for enchanting jewelry such as dual rings, games necklace and strength amulets, but also staff orbs to make battle staves for example, and these items are of great use to Iron Man. Second, training runecrafting through the abyss requires glory amulets. As an Iron Man it's not easy to get these since you need either 80 crafting and 68 magic, or 8300 to make them yourself. So, I have found a way to make cosmic runes as an Iron Man without the need of the Abyss at a quite fast rate. Okay, so let's move on to the guide now. Unfortunately, you do need a few requirements before you can use my method, but they are not too hard to get, so I will list them down for you here. You are going to need to complete the quest The Lost City to have access to the Cosmic Altar at all, so that is pretty obvious I guess. Um, you also need to complete Fairy Tale Part 1 and have started Fairy Tale Part 2. This is because you need access. Uh, you need to have access to Fairy Rings and um, you need to have started uh, Fairy Tale Part 2 for that. Um, just don't forget that you do not need the skill requirements to start this quest. So you do not need level 49 farming and 57 herb lore. So that is uh, no problem at all. Then another quest you want to complete is the quest Ghosts Ahoy, because by completing this quest you will get a free teleport to the Exofuncus with an Exofile, and you're gonna need that teleport as well. Alright, so skill wise you need level 27 runecrafting to make the cosmic runes at all. Um, to get this very quickly I advise you to complete the Abyss mini quest for uh, 1k free experience and the quest Eyes of Glow free to get another 6k free experience. This will get you to about level 24 runecrafting. Um, so then you only need uh, three more levels until you can make the cosmic runes. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, something that could really help you but is not really required is level uh, 46 agility at least. And 66 would be even better but 46 is enough. Um, because this, this speeds up um, the amount of trips you can do per hour. So yeah, that's your own decision but um, I would advise having level 46 at least. Then there are also a few items that you're going to need to use this method. First of all, you will need Rings of Jeweling to teleport. Um, so yeah, you're really going to need that. Um, you also need Cosmic Talisman or Tiara. And of course, I advise to have a Tiara because it saves inventory space. And it would be really useful to have runecrafting pouches to um, take even more essence with you. At level 27 runecrafting, you can already use a small and medium pouch. So um, in total, you can then carry up to um, 34 runes in one trip. So that's pretty nice. And if you have difficulties getting these pouches or getting this cosmic talisman, then you can travel through the fairy rings to the code ALR. And if you go to this location, then you can fight Abyssal leeches here, which only have 10 HP and um, drop these items. And they also drop medium clues, so if you're lucky, you can also get a medium clue. Also, your weight reducing gear will help you a lot. You will need your Draymond staff, your Ectophile, and of course, you will need pure essence to actually craft the runes. Okay guys, so now that I've told you about all the requirements, it's time to show you how an actual trip goes. If you take a look at my inventory, you can see I have an exofile with me, my pure essence, medium pouch and small pouch. Now why do I have them on this spot in my inventory? That is basically because if I right click then I can empty it immediately, just like the small pouch, and that will save a lot of time. What am I wearing? I have a Cosmic Tiara, Draymond Staff, Boots of Lightness and a Ring of Jeweling. Okay, so why are we at Clem Wars? Now that is basically because there is a quick bank to um, get your pure essence out of it and of course you can go to the white portal here, the free for all portal. If you leave it or enter it and leave it then your run energy will be fully restored again. So if I use the actual file here then um, we will be teleported to the um, actual functions here and as you can see 100% run energy which is really useful. Also do not forget to refill it again otherwise you will have a problem on your next trip. So what you do now is you go south and then you go west and you go to the haunted woods and in these haunted woods are uh, fairy rings or there is one fairy ring and um, we are going to use that to go to Zenaris and there is one annoying thing here there is somewhere here a tree that is yellow this one and as you can see you will get stuck behind it so make sure you walk around it so you will not lose any time so here you go you use the fairy ring and then you will be in Zenaris 
Once you are here, you go south and here comes the part where the agility is really recommended. It's not needed, but it is really useful. As you can see here, there are some green arrows and um, these are actually shortcuts. This shortcut can be used at level 66 agility and this shortcut can be used at level 46. I don't think there's much difference between these two in time. Um, so 46 is just enough. If you do not have any agility levels then just walk around it and it will like lose you about 10 to 15 seconds. And here I lose a few HP but that is not really a problem. So you go south and um, here you can find the altar or the ruins. So you enter the ruins and then you will uh, get teleported to the altar. So here you go. And actually that is everything you need to know about this trip. So um, let's just finish, uh, finish it real quick. There we go. 34 runes are made. And then we go back to Clan Wars again. Now of course this wasn't a very quick trip. I um, didn't really try to do it um, as fast as possible because I had to explain a few things. But if you... Um, Try to do your best, then you can do a trip in 100 seconds, and that means that you can do 36 trips an hour. Now, 36 trips an hour is about, with um, if you make 34 runes um, each trip, then that's about 1200 to 1250 runes an hour, and that is a really nice amount of runes, guys. That is about 10k experience. Um, of course, it can also always be better if you do uh, fire runes. I know that's a better XP rate, however, fire runes are not really useful and I think the cosmic runes come in very handy. Also, making fire runes will waste a lot of jewel rings and I don't think that is worth it. Now, if you're going to compare this to the Abyss, then the Abyss is of course still better. Um, I believe you make about 20% more runes an hour, but then still, it's not too much of a difference. and. Also, you do not use energy pots with this and you will need to use them at the Abyss. Um, you do not need any glory amulets, you do not have to access the wilderness or have a skull or things like that. You know, it's really safe. Um, you of course do need a few requirements, but the requirements are not really that hard to get. And in the end you can make a lot of runes an hour, you know. I mean, I can make with my pouches at this point 1200 to 1250 runes an hour, which means that if I reach level 50 rune crafting, I can use a large pouch and then I can make even 300 more. And of course, at level 59 rune crafting, I can make two cosmic runes out of one essence, and of course, then we'll speed everything up. But um, yeah, basically, this is what I wanted to explain to you. If you have difficulties training your rune crafting, or if you want to make cosmic runes, just um, for that matter, then um, of course, you can use this method. I think it's a very good one, and um, I hope it helped you. So guys, I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. It would be much appreciated, and I see you guys next time. So thanks again, and bye-bye. Thank you.